The Black Movie Awards were launched in 1997 as part of the Acapulco Black Film Festival. By 2002, it had moved to Miami South Beach. And this year, TNT's presentation of the 2005 Black Movie Awards will mark the first nationally televised broadcast of the ceremony. It's a celebration of black cinema, past, present, and future. Hi, I'm Tanya Hart. We are on the red carpet at Turner Network Television as they present an extraordinary evening. Now, the legendary Sidney Portier is being honored tonight, as along with Kimberly Elise. I understand there are excerpts from Alice Walker's The Color Purple and lots of stars. We're here on the red carpet, and the fun is just about to begin. I can't believe it's 20 years already. Unbelievable. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to be here tonight to celebrate Alice Walker's Pulitzer Prize winning novel and this incredible film that has touched so many lives over the past 20 years. And it has also been my great fortune to be able to continue that journey. I can't believe it. Because now along with Oprah Winfrey and Scott Sanders, I am so proud to be one of the producers of the wonderful new Broadway musical, The Color Purple. With The Color Purple? of getting it, they're just watching it start to be made because everybody said, you never get, you got to be kidding, everybody wants Steven Spielberg. It, it won't, this, da, 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 this won't happen. And that's what gets me going is when you say it's impossible and it's not going to happen. I, I, that gets me started. <laughs> I'm doing a score to a film now, Get Rich or Die Trying with 50 Cent, and Terrence Howard's in it, and but Terrence is no joke. <laughs> he's, he is no joke. He's in four films, isn't he? Yes. And Brothers, and uh, 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 Hustle and Fold, uh, Crash, and... All of them. I saw the one the other night with Outcasts. He's in that too, you know. Yeah. But it's just great to see it keep coming. That's what it's about. Well, let's have a good time with one another. Cedric the, the Entertainer is host of this inaugural and event, great, and what a job time. he has on his hands. I know. I mean, you know, we, we got the first annual, and then and then I have to come out here and get get it all hyped up, and then you know, first person I bring to stage is City Portier. I mean, you know, my mouth was dry. I'm trying to look smooth. <laughs> and you got you to say a name like Portier and your mouth dry. You know that. But it was it was a wonderful. And I mean to be in the room with the, you know just such amazing talent, Ruby D and Morgan Freeman, Lawrence Fishburne. It was just really great to be here and to celebrate one another. It was a fun. Night. It's the kind of thing to let you know that we are putting in work, that we are portraying interesting characters, um, and that it, it needs to be recognized. And that a night like this is worthy of that to celebrate ourselves. And when uh, when we don't necessarily cross into the mainstream, when we don't, when our films don't necessarily show up with the, with the huge box office numbers or get the recognition from the from the mainstream, that a night like this celebrates us as. As, uh, people who are, enjoy their craft, people who work hard at their craft. Oscar nominee Don Cheadle has had a banner year. Backstage, we talked about his duties in front of and behind the camera. It's more that it's often necessary to, to support the things that you want to see made. Uh, you often have to take a, a hand in them to, to, to push them along as opposed to just waiting for things to come together. So uh, it's more difficult, but it's, it's more rewarding and um, it's more challenging and I'm always looking for new ways to tell stories. So this is just another, another avenue. I know Hotel Rwanda changed your life in many, many ways. Uh, and I'm sure you've always been an activist, but you've really become an activist. Tell me a little bit about that and what you're doing now with the, those particular countries to Sudan. Well, I, I, I think I found that as much as it found me. And, and those who had been looking for a voice and trying to find a way to get their voices heard uh, were just very um, moved by the film and inspired to actually take the film and, 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 and hold it up as an example of what they've been trying to say for, for many, many years. Vivica Fox always brings style and class as well as a great looking gal to the red carpet. She and longtime friend Regina King will team up as presenters for the 2005 Black Movie Awards. But Regina's big moment came when she met Sidney Poitier backstage Ooh. the first time. Imagine Imagine just touched us. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. How do you feel about what he just I have chill bones. I can see them. Mm -hmm. I met him for the first time. You know, it's amazing because we both, before we walked out on stage, I met Regina when we both used to live in Inglewood. And I turned and I looked at him and I said, man, we sure came a long way from Inglewood. It was kind of a mystery. Doing things in Hollywood, you know? Yeah. 
as well. So look at you backstage. And, just, you know, and this is the first time we've ever presented or did anything together. Really? What's the deal with that? Okay. How is it that well, we haven't been in something well, together? Well, Miss, we Miss Executive, go work that out. No, we will. We will. We will. <laughs> we will. We will. <laughs> hey, not that thing, girl. Look, we'll make us a call tomorrow. Hello. <laughs> The 2005 Black Movie Awards brought the A-list and legends out to honor even the upcoming stars. Cicely Tyson presented Kimberly Elise the Rising Star Award. Congratulations. Let's see. Hold it up so we can see it. <laughs> yes. You you know what? I mean, you could have won this for a whole bunch of stuff this year. You've been on <laughs> such a banner year. It's been a great Kimberly. year. It's been a great year. And, um, you know, I, I, I felt they all were great years. I've um, had great opportunities and, you know, they aren't always uh, acknowledged in this way and celebrated in this way but within myself I've always celebrated them and felt good about what I've done so um, this is this is you know another good year as far as I'm concerned what was so funny because Vivica was so excited Vivica A. Fox yes. was so excited for you because she's I remember the very first time I saw her in a film and I mean she was it was like she had won this award when you <laughs> well, won well you know my first film was with Viv and uh, set it off Recipients of the 2005 Black Movie Awards were chosen by a prominent committee of film critics, entertainment editors, and prestigious members of the artistic community. It is truly a celebration of 